What's up guys, Sports Card Gamble here. With the football season underway and many sports card enthusiasts switching focus, I wanted to compile a list of the top five most popular Prism rookie cards. Panini Prism dates back to the 2012 football season and at that time was a product designed to compete with Topps Chrome. At the time, Topps still had a license with the NFL and was a top producer of football cards. Prism wasn't an instant hit, but as years went by, it kept gaining more popularity. When the 2016 season hit, Panini owned the exclusive rights to produce NFL football cards, eliminating the competition, effectively making Prism the standard in the Chromium stock mid to low tier card segment. We have all seen quite the boom in the card market over the last year and the growing interest and popularity in Prism rookie cards. So without further ado, let's take a look at my top five most popular Prism rookie cards. Five. Russell Wilson is a proven winner and always the MVP of his team. He has been a bit slept on at times in the card market even with his impressive resume. His Prism rookie card is part of the inaugural set of Prism in 2012 and I think that helps the value and potentially hurts the popularity of the card. What do I mean by that? Well, of course, you have the savvy investors that realize this card's pop count and iconic set potential, but you also have a lot of recency biased minds looking to collect the new hot rookies that are emerging, which would exclude Russell Wilson. The cost to get into a PSA 10 is quite high as well, and the card would be harder to find clean raw copies nowadays. I think we all know how great Russell Wilson is, and sometimes that doesn't equate to being the most popular player to collect. Now, with a quarter of the 2012 NFL season underway, uh, Russell Wilson is a leading MVP candidate and the Seahawks have gotten off to a very hot start so potentially this card could rise up this list this season. Four. Dak Prescott has shown the ability to put up crazy offensive numbers throughout his career. Combine that with playing quarterback on America's team and you have a perfect formula for creating hype and popularity around his prison rookie card. I think the team's overall letdowns and some of the contract issues have potentially stunted the growth of the card. The pop count is low for base rookie cards and the PSA 10 version is still somewhat affordable for dedicated collectors. The Cowboys have had a crazy start to the 2020 season, but that has not led to many wins. The whole division is struggling and uh, you know, if they can just get on a run and get the defense figured out, I could definitely see this card's popularity finishing strong. Three. Kyler Murray has had an exciting start to his career. He can do it with his legs and his arm, leading to exciting plays and raising the popularity of his Prism rookie card. The addition of DeAndre Hopkins seems to be working out instantly, and there's been a lot of hype around the move all offseason. Sports card fans are anxious to see what this duo can become over the years, and all signs point to it being a perfect match. I also think there is just a lot of recency bias for this card. Kyler is a young player with tons of hype, and so far the hype has been warranted. The population count is relatively low for today's standards, so I think this card has tons of potential moving forward. Two. Lamar Jackson is another young and exciting player to watch and has already accomplished MVP of the league in 2019. This is a huge feat and his Prism rookie card saw an incredible rise over the last couple of years. The pop count is also quite low and it's hard to get a PSA 10 in this card. Lamar Jackson's potential in this league is seemingly limitless. He plays for a great organization and has a strong window for success in the next few years. We will see if he can start to do some damage in the playoffs, which at the moment might be the only flaw on his resume. Who are we kidding though? We all want this card and I think this card has more room to grow for sure. One. All right, guys, no surprise here. I mean, who else would be number one, right? Patrick Mahomes has set the NFL on fire over the last couple of seasons. With a league MVP and Super Bowl win already under his belt, it is no surprise he has been touted as the best player in the league. Mahomes is in the spotlight a lot off the field as well, whether it be in commercials or all the talk in the offseason surrounding his record-setting contract extension. Let's be real too, there are probably 50,000 fantasy team name variations based on Mahomes boy. The team is off to another hot start in 2000. 2020, and he has a great chance to get back to the Super Bowl. With the young team around him, he also has a great window for success. Time will tell if someone else will be able to catapult Mahomes from the number one spot, but for the time being, I don't see it happening. If you got in early on this Prism rookie card, good for you. This card seems like a lock to continue to rise in value. Okay guys, so that's the list. Before we end here, I wanted to give a shout out to some honorable mentions pictured here. 
And as always, this list will always be changing. We haven't seen 2020 Prism release yet, but with great stars like Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert, I feel like they could already be honorable mentions. All right, guys, well, let me know what you think of the list and what you would change. It will be nice to see how this list holds up as the season moves on. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe button if you aren't already. Uh, it really does help out. Until next time, guys, Sports Card Gamble here, signing off.